Spice Island in the Pot is brought to you by Stumpy's Emporium and the Penny Saver Supermarket. Welcome back to Spice Island in the Pot. We just made corn soup with corn on the cob, cornmeal dumplings, little bits of carrots, fresh seasoning, nice, good for a, a rainy day. So now let's broaden your soup horizons a little. We are going to make a creamy chicken and broccoli soup with a different base. So we have two different bases that we're gonna do today. So let's get started on that. So this is going to be a chicken stock based soup. Now to do chicken stock, you use the bony parts of the chicken, but to do chicken broth, you, do, you use the meaty parts. All right, so that is the difference between those two things. Now I have here about three chicken breasts that, with the bone and what I've done is I've taken off the, the fleshier parts away from the bone. So we're going to do like a two for one and this chicken stock you can actually store as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the ingredients that you need for the stock is some onions and you don't have to chop these nice. You don't have to chop them small or anything like that. Ooh. You just kind of big chunks of onions like this. So for this, I would say three onions should be fine. We're going to have a little extra stock so that we can store some away. So we're just using like three kind of small to medium size onions. So that is there. Pimento peppers, you can just cut them in half. Now you just want to cut them so the flavor would, would escape into the stock. Because when we do all of this, it's going to be strained out. It's going to be a nice clear consistency and color. You can even just break them like this, just so you know how not serious the cutting part of it is. So we can just break them up. I like to use a lot of pimento in mine. It has really nice flavor. So we're going to also add some thyme. If you had small thyme, that would work as well. I have just these big ones. So I just have like four leaves and they, they always come in different kinds. They have the white edge and then the plain green. So I just break these in about two like this and some celery. Now, I don't put much salt in my chicken stock because depending on what you're going to use it to do, you're going to, you can add that salt after. But I do put some parsley here. And if you have fresh parsley, that's even better. And a little bay leaf, just a few small leaves, about four small leaves and some garlic. If you had whole clove garlic, you can put that just like that in there. Just kind of crack them a little bit. So this would be about six cloves of garlic here. Now, my pot has a little melted butter at the bottom. This should just keep everything moist because what we're going to do is roast our chicken in here first. Then we're going to transform that into the broth, sorry, the stock, and then we're going to carry on with the soup from there. So for my chicken, I want to just season this up lightly because we definitely want a little flavor from the chicken. So just a little salt over everything. And I've washed this chicken in... And this is a little black pepper here. I've washed the chicken in a little bit of water with some lime and a little bit of salt to rinse that out because you know we in the Caribbean, that's how we do with our meats. We wash it all with a little lime, right? And some of that chopped seasoning that we did earlier, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that here, right? Just a little bit, not to overpower the flavors or anything. So I'm just going to rub everything in like this. Rub it all over, mix it up. So I have my white, the meaty part here, and then I have my bony parts here. So how you place it in the pot for roasting is important because you want to have easy access because we're going to move out that meaty part to continue with the stock. So I'm going to put all my bone, bony parts down first. And this just goes just like this over the veggies that we put in there, all the bony parts like this. Then my meaty parts. This is going to be what's going to go into the soup. So I put the bony parts over there. All right, so let me just wipe my hands from this. So this is just the beginning of the base. Two for one, we're kind of getting with this. So finally, I'm going to drizzle the top of my chicken here generously with some olive oil. This increases the good moisture in the roasting process. So my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. This is going to go in there for about 25 to 35 minutes or until the chicken gets a little brown. 
Then from there, we're gonna continue with all the goodness. So let me get this into the oven. So my chicken is roasting, getting ready to do the chicken stock. So let's see what it looks like. Careful, this is hot. Perfect. So, these are the things that you're looking for to know when this is ready. So there's a nice light brown color on the chicken. And if you look at the vegetables that we put in there, it's all very tender and mushy. So what I'm going to do now, the fleshy parts of the meat, and this is why I put them on the top, we're going to remove this, because this is going to be added to the soup a little later on. So all those fleshy pieces are gonna come out. And this is where the stock begins. Let's get all those nice meaty pieces out. And you wanna avoid those veggies because you just, you only want chicken in your soup, not the other stuff. So this is where the stock is going to continue. So I'm going to heat my oven up to a medium high temperature. And already it starts bubbling because the pot is already hot from being in the oven. So with cold water, I'm just going to add and cover all the contents of the pot. So this is just going to be to cover this. So remember, it's three chicken breasts that we had. We took the fleshy part out, separated it from the bony part, and we put some nice veggies in there, put it in the oven to roast. You also want to be mindful that your pot must be oven friendly. So if you have little plastic handles, but please be careful that they don't melt off in the oven. So make sure that your pot is correct. So as you see here, I've covered everything. I'm not gonna stir anything. It's gonna bubble and get all together. What is going to happen here also is that the little grease from the chicken, those natural oils are gonna come up to the top and we're just gonna scoop that off and strain this off and then you're gonna have your chicken stock, which is gonna be the base of our creamy broccoli and chicken soup. So I'm gonna cover this. It's gonna get in all the action, and then we're gonna strain that off. Make sure my, good. So we're gonna strain that off and have our chicken stock ready in a minute. So my roasted chicken stock has been boiling on the stove for about 30 minutes, and I let it cool down a little, so you know, it's manageable. So what we're looking for, if I just shake my pot a little, you'll see that some fat has formed at the top of it. So you wanna scoop out as much of this as possible. See, it will just come up, it will attach itself to your spoon and you can just scoop that out. What this does, it, it prevents the chicken stock from being cloudy. So you wanna scoop as much of this as possible. You know, you don't have to be too picky about it, just get the majority of it when it forms. You can also put this in the fridge overnight it becomes like a kind of like a jelly because all the gelatin and stuff from the chicken would have formed that and you can scoop it out then but we're going to use our stock today so we're going to get it done today so that seems to be the majority of it good so from here we're going to take all the big chunky stuff out and then we're going to use a super fine strainer to get the stock in order so i'm just going to scoop this out now, if we were making a lot more chicken stock, like if you were using like a whole chicken, obviously it's gonna take a long time. Sometimes it takes up to an hour, an hour and a half on a nice simmer to get that. So all the big pieces of stuff, I'm gonna just try and get that out before we pour it into the strainer. Okay, so this is still a little hot. It should be enough. So, Super fine strainer into a nice big bowl where you have enough space to pour it in. So you want to be careful, nice and gentle, and pour this in. Okay, perfect. So what we have left here is just all the boiled out veggies and seasonings that we had to make this stock. So we're gonna take that and all of this just kind of throws away. So put that aside. So what we have here is our nice, nice consistency of chicken stock. It will be the base to some of the soups that we will do. This you can store the same way that you did the base of the other soup in little plastic bags when it cools down and into the freezer or if you wanna do little plastic containers, you can do that. So I'm gonna set my stock aside here. 
So we put this aside and we're going to do the broccoli part for the, for the broccoli and chicken soup. So I have here some fresh broccoli. You want to get some nice florets from this. So an easy way to cut this is if you hold it upside down like this, you get a lot more control here. And you just kind of cut going around like this to get the florets out. So very easy, very simple. So sometimes you buy, when you buy broccoli in bunches, you may not need all of it. So for example, for this recipe, I'm actually going to use about a cup and a half of broccoli. So I'm going to have a little left over. Now, when I get fresh broccoli, I use fresh broccoli, but then there comes a time where you may not get it and you may have to resort to frozen broccoli, which is also fine for quite a few recipes. So with my extra, oh, this is close enough here. With my extra in my bag from my freezer, I'm gonna just put this in. It's already cut, you can steam this up, have it in salads, do a number of other things with it, stir fry, things like that. So this is gonna go into my freezer. This is also gonna throw. So to get the broccoli portion of the soup done, generally people just kind of toss the florets into the soup. I don't like to do that. I wanna make a nice kind of puree with mine. So I have on the stove a pot of boiling water. It's covered, so it's boiling really, really busy. Boil, boil, boil. So it has to be boiling water. We're gonna put a little salt in there. We're gonna add the broccoli and let that boil for three to four minutes. Then we're gonna strain that off and make a puree out of it. So I'm gonna drop this into my boiling water with salt and three to four minutes later, when you can just poke the knife right through it, we're gonna take it off, strain that off, make the puree, and then get started on putting our soup together. So my broccoli has been there three to four minutes. This is also a good way to know if it's ready. You wanna take a knife, and if it cuts through very easily, it's ready and it's perfect. So it's really in a nice bright green color. So I'm gonna strain this off here in another bowl. And I'm doing it like this so that I can keep the broccoli water that it was boiled in because we want to maintain all of the flavors on all the different levels. So this is my broccoli here. I'm going to make a nice puree with this. So we're going to put this in to the blender. Right. And then we're going to use some of the water here. Now, so you know, when you're making the puree, you don't want it too liquidy. So to where the broccoli gets to, you want to go about half to three quarters of the way with the water. So you need to pay attention to how much water you put in. That's just about enough. And I'm going to blend this. We're going to cover with the cloth for safety. Pulse a little bit and then you let it go on, right? So you're looking for a nice velvety, smooth kind of consistency. So we almost have it, we just need a little more. Okay, let's see. This looks really good to me. Nice bright green color. So already we have some really interesting colors coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and start my soup. So the base of the soup, like I said, is going to be one cup of our chicken stock. So that is going to start flavoring already. Now there's not a lot of salt or any seasoning is here, so we're going to start seasoning up here as we go. I'm now going to add my, block, my broccoli puree here. And don't, don't throw this aside just yet. Keep it here because if you need to have some more liquid to your soup, you can use this, add a little water, stir it around, you know how we do, and add it. I like to have a little texture in my soup, even though it's a creamy soup, I like to use a little bit of carrot, so I'm going to add some carrots to this. I'm going to do some salt here, just a little to start, and if we need some more, we can add. And I want to do some fresh cracked peppers. I like this particular pepper for this soup. It gives us a really nice heat and a really nice flavor, especially for the broccoli. So I'm going to do about a teaspoon or a little more. If you want a little more heat, of course, you can add a little more heat. So I'm doing that. Perfect. Now, I'm going to add 
my roasted chicken. So this has been cooked already. It's been roasted, this part of what we made this stock with. So all you have to do is kind of pull it apart like this, small, nice chunks, bite-sized chunks. It's going to be a really nice, nice soup. So you just want to pull it apart into some nice size pieces like this. And we have some, this is also going to add another texture to the soup. It's going to be really good. There's a lot of protein in chicken, of course. So as you shred and it cooks up all together, it's going to be a nice hearty meal. Now the creamy aspect of this soup is going to be accomplished by adding some cooking cream. Some people use milk if you didn't get the cooking cream, but I recommend the cooking cream because that has like a flavor on its own that is not really um, too, ooh, too milky, right? So this is the last of this. There we go. Lots of chicken in here. You could do less if you wanted, but I wanted a really nice hearty soup for this one. So that's that. So I'm gonna put this on a low fire on the stove. Let everything start bubbling together and then we're gonna deal with the consistency and if we need a little more liquid or a little more cream and get this going. Okay, let's go. So on a nice low fire, I have here mm, my chicken and broccoli soup. Now the cream of part hasn't come in as yet. So we have the broccoli puree that we put with the chicken stock as the base of the soup. We have our roasted chicken strips in there. Nice pretty little cubes of carrot. So when you're doing the creamy part, this is what's going to make the creamy part of the soup. You want to go very slow with your cream and we're using cooking cream and as you pour, you want to stir. As you pour, you want to stir. And this is going to lighten up the color. And you don't want to put too much that makes it white, whiter or lighter than it should be. But you want a nice consistency here. And just continue to pour and stir. Oh, a little messy. So you continue to stir this for about a minute and a half. And then you let it continue on a slow fire for another two minutes. And then the soup is ready. I know it seemed like a long process, but if you have all the prep, this is gonna be like a quick, easy, nice meal. Okay, and don't forget, we're serving it up with, with everybody's favorite. So, you're gonna to have to stay tuned for that when we plate up. So, I've stirred all I can stir. All you're really waiting for here is for it to bubble back, so to speak, right? So I'm gonna cover this back. And as soon as the bubbles start coming up, that means it's done. And we're gonna get a bowl and put that in there. Okay, so my soup is ready, quick and easy. Nice and hot. So I'm gonna scoop this in. Now, can you imagine how much benefits this one type of soup has from the broccoli, the carrots, the chicken, the everything? Lots of nice, heartiness, nutrients to go with it. So, to top this off, I like to do a little extra pepper in mine because I like the heat. So I'm just going to do a little bit on the top. You can also do cheese if you like um, some goat cheese or some type of soft cheese, you can do that as well. Now, the thing that everybody, that is everybody's favorite, of course, cricks, the vital supply. Cricks and a good little soup, really, really good. Wouldn't you say so? I agree. So let me taste this. My carrots are nice and crunchy, so there's a nice texture to that. Let's see? Really good. Not too much cream, just enough cream. That roasted chicken flavor got everywhere in this soup. It's so good. This is really nice. You know like when your husband comes in the kitchen and kind of hugs you from behind, how good that feels? That's exactly how this soup feels, just like that. So I guess if you're single, the soup would be a, a good substitution for those hugs that you don't get in the meantime. So today we made rainy day remedies or traditional soup on a Saturday. So now we've broadened a little scope of soup. We've made a nice corn soup with cornmeal dumplings, little carrots, all good, nice, light, hot, friendly. Then we did our creamy roasted chicken and broccoli soup, all the nice colors in this soup. And we're serving it up with a little cricks on the side. 
It was so good cooking with you today. I hope you are inspired to try out our recipes, to which the info is at the bottom of the screen. And if you try them, please take a picture, tag us on Instagram at SpiceTC5 or on Spice Island in the Pot. That's our Facebook page. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. I had such a good time today once again. Remember, food is essential to life, so please make it good. I am Aline, your food designer. This was Spice Island in the Pot.